Hey guys, today I'm coming at you once again from San Francisco where I'm here for a very quick work trip. But while I'm here, I am going to take advantage of the one evening I have to get out and do some street photography. I'm really excited though because this time I have three new toys to play with. Um, one of them, the first thing that I want to show you is this. Our friends over at photosavings.com sent us an XT30. This is brand new, unopened. I'm going to unbox it here right now, informally, because why not? And it looks like we've got the, uh, the silver version. Oh, it's so small. I've missed my XT20. I gave that away to one of our subscribers a few months ago and I have really missed it. So this is actually something we're considering getting again to replace the XT2 because the XT2 is on its last leg as our backup camera. A video on that soon. Um, but for now, I'm excited to play with this XT30 and tell you what we think. I've got some fresh batteries I'll throw in it and uh, we're gonna go out on the streets and try it. Maybe I'll share with you my initial impressions afterwards. Um, as far as lenses go, I have the 16 millimeter 2.8 sitting there on my X-T3 filming me right now. I'm gonna put that on here and we're gonna try some street photography with that. Of course, 16 millimeter street photography is a challenge, but I love it. I love what I get with it when it, when it does work. So we're gonna see how that goes. Additionally, the third item, the third thing I'm excited about, I'm gonna film this all hyperlapse, um, third person style with uh, a new product. Where is it? I need, I need to go get it. This is the Insta360 ONE X. This is a 360 camera, and I'm gonna just stick it right here on my backpack over my shoulder so you can see what I see uh, and what I photograph in the world from a third person point of view. Should be pretty interesting. I've never really seen uh, street style videos, street photography videos shot from that perspective. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do this again in the future. Insta360 did send me this and uh, as a gift, and that was really nice. Um, so if I do share some thoughts on that, it will be slightly biased because they're cool for doing that. Um, so I'm not sure how in-depth of a review I'll give on this other than my first initial impressions and I'll, obviously the footage will speak for itself. I don't know how long we'll last tonight. We're gonna end when one of three things runs out. Either the light runs out or more likely the battery. I only have one battery. The battery in this runs out or the SD card fills up. So wh whatever happens first, that's where we'll stop. And then afterwards, maybe I'll circle back and tell you my thoughts on any and all of this gear, initial impressions, that sort of thing. But for now, let's get out there and start shooting. I don't always do street photography this way where I'm capturing interesting people as they walk by, but I really feel like the 16 millimeter focal length lends itself to this. When I'm shooting like this, I shoot with the camera low and glance down at the LCD and shoot at waist level viewfinder style. I tend to really enjoy that perspective when shooting wide like this. Sadly, it started to rain, and since neither the Insta360 without its waterproof case nor the X-T30 are water resistance, I had to call it quits for the night. 
Normally some light sprinkling would not deter me from shooting with the X-T30. I know it's not weather resistant, but I personally don't feel like it needs to be babied. But in this case, the X-T30 isn't mine, so I wasn't going to take any risks. Fortunately, on my final day in San Francisco, I was able to carve out some time both in the morning on the way to work and at the end of the day due to a major flight delay at the airport. This is one of those rare times where a delay was actually great news for me. But before I could make it to the office in the morning, my Insta360 turned off. I hadn't realized there was a recording limit on the old firmware that I was on. I understand that the new firmware will stop and begin creating multiple files, but I just hadn't updated the firmware at this point. But here are the rest of the photos I took that morning after the camera shut off. I was slightly worried about the looks that I get having the 360 camera sticking up out of my backpack behind me, but as I reviewed the footage, I noticed that only very rarely did anyone stop to stare. And then sometimes people were just more interested in my camera, like this guy. He obviously has excellent taste in cameras.
Now, the perceptive viewer will have heard an interesting encounter just then. It's very common as street photographers to be stopped on the street for various reasons. Sometimes it's panhandlers, sometimes it's solicitations. I've been asked if I want to purchase drugs. And sometimes I will stop and chat with these folks. But most of the time, especially like these where my time is extremely precious, I pretend like I don't speak English. Once again, my Insta One ran out at its 30 minutes of space before I was finished with this session. And unfortunately, it's then that I took some of my favorite shots from the trip, which I'll show you now anyway. When it comes to shooting with the X-T30, it was an absolute pleasure, as I knew it would be. It is extremely well equipped for street photography. It's responsive, continuous autofocus, and face detection with those face detection points covering the entirety of the sensor means that I just didn't miss, though mostly I shot at f4. If I did miss something, it was because I was just too slow, not because of the gear. Shooting with tools like these always amazes me, and I'm so grateful to live in a time where sessions like these can be so effortless. There really is nothing stopping us from capturing great images. Our the only limits are those excuses we give ourselves for not picking up our feet and facing our fears or just laziness. As far as the 16mm 2.8 goes, what can you say? It's fast, it's small, it's weather resistant, it's fairly affordable, it never got in my way and I adore the photos I captured with it. There's more testing that I'd like to do, but in the meantime I have to say that I love it. And it may be the first time in the history of me owning lenses that I'll own two lenses with the same focal length from the same brand of camera. But that's all for now, thanks for watching. Kindness before cameras. We'll talk to you again real soon.